Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl Michaela, and welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys this really fresh, fun, glowy, little sunburnt, little sun-kissed makeup tutorial. I don't know, I just feel like it looks super fresh and very, very clean. Uh, by the way, all the makeup products that I used in today's video will be linked down below. If you guys don't know, I just recently moved back to the Bay Area for a summer break, and I accidentally left my everyday makeup bag in LA so I will not have my everyday makeup this entire summer so I had to repurchase all new makeup so this was a full face of first makeup impressions as well so before we hop into it don't forget to follow me on all my social medias my Instagram my TikTok they're always linked down below and with that being said let's just hop straight on into it okay so the first thing that I'm gonna start off with is prepping my skin so as for moisturizer I just picked up the clean and clear dual action moisturizer I picked this one up honestly because it was $4.99 I wanted to pick up the La Roche Pose one the lippy car bomb that everyone talks about it went viral on TikTok like so long ago but that one was $30 and I was like um I'm good I remember I used to use this one like way back in the day like in my middle school days like this one was the moisturizer I used so I kind of trusted it and then afterwards I'm gonna go in with a serum this one's from Glossier and then a sunscreen this one is from Super Goop and this is their glow screen so it's gonna give me a little bit of some glow and some shine on my skin and then I'm going in with the Laneige cream skin mist to just hydrate my face i have really dry like patches on my face so i need to make sure that those are all nice moisturized so next i'm just gonna go in with some primers these two primers were also in my collection but i just didn't use them that often but i'm gonna go in with the elf jelly pop dew primer and the elf poreless putty primer i'm gonna use the dew primer as more of like a gripping primer just because it does have a sticky consistency and then i'm gonna use the poreless putty to smooth out my skin so going in with that dew primer mainly on the perimeters and then with the poreless putty i'm just kind of rubbing it in and just putting it in my t-zone just while everything kind of settles in i'm gonna start off with the refi beauty brow gel for this makeup look i think i kind of want to go with the fluffy brows so i'm first just gonna brush all my eyebrow hairs up just to kind of coat them and make sure that each hair is kind of evenly distributed with the product and then after our eyebrows are all kind of coated i'm just gonna go in with the other side of this i honestly would not know that there was another side of this if i didn't find this through TikTok. TikTok. and then i'm gonna smooth the front parts of my eyebrows upward but then i'm gonna smooth the back side of my eyebrows to the side and i just like to do this because to me it gives that fluffy look still just because the front is still really fluffy but it doesn't look as crazy on my face shape so now that my eyebrows are all kind of done i'm just gonna go in with my morphe brow pencil this one is in the shade java this is the micro brow pencil it's a dupe for the anastasia one so since this one is brand new i'm just gonna scrub it on the back of my hand just so it's not super waxy and i always start off with the end of my brow just because that's where i want it to be the harshest and then i'm gonna work my way in so for this specific look i think i'm just gonna go with something super super natural so i'm gonna do light feathery strokes on the outside and so basically all we're doing is just enhancing our natural eyebrows so now that we're done with the eyebrows, we're going to move it back on into our face. So I'm going to be testing out my two new products. These ones are from L'Oreal. This is the True Match Lumi Glotion. So I got them in two shades. I got them in Medium Glow and Deep Glow. So the shade Medium Glow is said to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, which I absolutely love mine. But of course, I love mine so much. I use it every day. So I did leave it in my makeup bag and if you don't want to pay for the flawless filter or you just can't get your hands on it because it's always sold out this is actually a really really nice replacement okay so once that is all applied on my skin i'm gonna go in with the matching one but like i said this one is in the shade deep glow now this one is said to be a dupe for the drunk elephant d bronzy drops which i also own and i also love but once again don't have with me anymore so i'm just basically applying this everywhere that i would kind of put contour on and we're just gonna be blending this 
into my skin i know this is like my first impressions of these but i'm actually in love and i feel like these would be perfect 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 for the summertime so i'm just gonna go in with just a concealer this is the kosas reveal super creamy brightening concealer i have been trying to get my hands on the kosas concealer for so so long this is like the new concealer just because i feel like the way right now is having skincare slash like makeup and this is like a serum concealer so when it comes to my concealer I always work in sections so I'm just gonna go first under my eye I always add these two little dots and then a stripe upward and this is just to lift the face and then I'm just gonna go in with my finger I used to be so against using my hands for my makeup but now it's just like my favorite tool to use just because it's so quick and efficient and the warmth from your fingers really does warm and press the product right into your skin and wow that looked amazing oh my gosh, yes. and then you can take the concealer and just spot conceal wherever you like i'm gonna take that little bit of concealer and then press it into my skin and this time i'm gonna go in with the brush just because it's a little bit quicker when I apply a little bit more concealer on my face so once we're done with our concealer we're gonna go in with some contour so I bought this LA girl pro conceal concealer in the shade beautiful bronze I'm just gonna add a little drop um, right above my cheekbone line and then I'm gonna make a dot right where my temple is and make a dot right here and I'm not going to go too heavy handed on this just because see how that one little dot already made that line. So imagine if I just like went in with the striking motions. So basically when you blend this out, you're just going to want to go in tapping motions and work upwards just because working upwards will lift the face. And then as for my temples, I just work in circular motions. And this makeup is also perfect if you have any beauty marks that you like to show. It's so funny because it's something like, you know, when you get older, the things you hated about yourself, you start to love. And when I was younger, I used to hate like having beauty marks on my face. And now like I absolutely love them. So I love having like light makeup looks like this where they kind of shine through. So now we're going to go on into our cream blush. So I just got this one from Patrick Ta and it is the major headlines double take cream and powder blush so i went into sephora having a very strict list of the stuff that i was going to walk out with and this was not on the list and it is still in my possession somehow this is what it looks like it is so so pretty i love to use little blushes like this just so that it's not contour to bright pink blush but it's more so contour to a more mauvey blush and then it gradients gradients and then it kind of ombres to that brighter pink blush and then i'm going in with this product this is the cream blush light from melt this is in the shade color sandy cheeks it is so so pretty and as soon as i saw it in the store i was just like i need to have it i love using orangey blushes and this one is like the perfect orangey blush especially for my skin tone i can just already tell so when i apply my blush to give it that lifted look always applying upwards and especially for this type of makeup look with the kind of like glowiness and with like that sunburnt sun kiss look we are basically trying to accentuate like youthful features and by having this like really lifted kind of rosy cheeks that's kind of what we're doing so that was it for all our cream products just to give us that dewy look now we're gonna move on into the powder product so i'm just gonna go in with a loose setting powder and i'm just gonna press this underneath my eyes just because i I do have under eyes that crease quite a bit so I'm just gonna take a little bit of powder on a powder puff and then I'm just gonna firmly press it underneath my eyes and anywhere else I get super oily which is always <laughs> right here I swear my little smile lines right here like are like the oil spill of my face and I don't know if you guys can tell but I'm kind of pressing the powder into my skin instead of letting it kind of sit there to me baking just looks a little bit too glam for this look and so i'm trying to make it look a little bit more natural by pressing it into the skin versus just letting it sit on top so now i'm gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer i'm gonna be going in with the mac mineralized skin finish natural in the shade
shade Give Me Sun. This is what it looks like. And the difference between what we were doing earlier with the contour and what we're doing now with the bronzer is that the contour was more cool shade. And so with the cool shades, that's what's going to give us that chiseled look. And then with the bronzer, this one is a lot more warm tone. It has those orangey shades in here. So this is what's going to add that life back into our skin. It's just going to add the most nice um orangey warmthness to our face you can obviously tell like i never do makeup videos just because what am i talking orangey warmthness I can't with myself sometimes but just just blend that shit in okay so this is the face after we just bronzed it up and now i'm gonna take a fluffy brush like this one right here and i'm gonna take a little bit of the bronzer that we just used and go right on top of my eyelid. And I'm just gonna be using this as an all over the lid shade. I love using the bronzer that we used on our face, also on our eyes, just cause it kind of snatches everything back to the center and it makes it look super, super balanced. Now I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of blush. This one is Luminoso from Milani. It's just a nice, really pretty corally pink shade. And I'm just applying this on the apples of my cheek and then working it upward. Why am I putting on more blush? Put it down, put it down. And then now I'm just gonna be curling my lashes. Thank God I finally picked up my Shiseido eyelash curler. This is my favorite eyelash curler. If you're like me and you have very, very stick straight Asian eyelashes, mine don't curl for the life of me. Using the Shiseido eyelash curler God sent. So I'm just curling my lashes. This eyelash curler is literally the best eyelash curler ever. And I know you're gonna be like, Michaela, those are what like normal people eyelashes look like after you curl them. But you don't realize I don't have normal people eyelashes. Mine are so stick straight. So the fact that they even curl like this is insanity. So then I'm taking a mascara. This is the Japanese mascara. So we are almost done. We just have some highlighter, a little bit more blush, and then our lippy. I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Glow Stick. This thing literally smells like Sour Patch Kids watermelon. It smells so, so good. I have a highlighter from Glossier that doesn't even work like this good. So now I'm going to be taking a little bit of this Benetint Rose Tinted Lip and Cheek Stain. this is the completed makeup look so cute so just sunburnt sun cast glowy take a shot every single time she sounds glowy okay guys a little update i just wanted to share with you guys what this look does look like if you were to put on fake lashes but i put on this really really natural pair of ardell lashes i actually just bought them as well these are the kiss lashes and i just wanted to share with you guys what they look like with lashes so you can obviously pick your poison if you're a lash girl if you're not that was actually it for today's video i do hope you guys enjoyed like i said this was a super easy basic makeup tutorial so you guys know that makeup is something that i love but i just don't always film so if you do want to see more videos like it please let me know in the comments down below and i love you guys oh so much and i'll talk to you guys very very soon